What's going on guys? Killer6 here with episode 3 of my legendary items guide inside of Borderlands the pre-sequel and today we're looking at the Cryophobia. And if that name sounds vaguely familiar, it's because this gun is yet another throwback to a Borderlands 2 gun, the Pyrophobia. And like the Pyrophobia, this gun fires a single projectile that explodes multiple times along its flight path until it actually runs into something. Now, depending on the prefix you get and the parts that this thing spawns with, it will determine the base damage. But I will say this, you can expect at level 50 for this base damage to be somewhere in the 40 to 50,000 range. And uh, the accuracy is going to be somewhere around 85 to 90 percent. Uh, the fire rate itself is going to be around 0.9 to maybe 1.1, 1 1.2 seconds. And then the reload speed is always going to be pretty slow between 5 to 6 seconds. The mag size, I think, maxes out at 5 which would be on the plenteous prefix and uh, this thing does some pretty good cryo damage uh, what is it a, about 1200 uh, cryo damage per second uh, I think it's 1127 actually and uh, the freeze chance is pretty good at around 32 percent now like most other legendaries inside of this game it is obtainable from any loot source but it has an increased chance to drop from bosun who is an early boss that you encounter in the game now it took me nine tries to get mine so the drop rate seems pretty good now having said that, farming bosun is a pain, but it's still pretty straightforward. And here you can see me get my drop in. Luckily bosun is a farmable, repeatable boss, so you can kill him again if you do not get the drop here, which comes in handy since he also drops some heads and skins. And uh, you want to make sure you go ahead and get all of that while you're here so that you don't have to come back and repeat this area, because like I said earlier, this area and this farm is kind of a pain in the butt. So here's my route and honestly there is absolutely positively no easy way to do this run and you will be under fire near the entire way. So I'd recommend using either a turtle shield or some other high capacity shield to maximize the amount of damage that you can take or simply just you know run away from everything that you can or fight everything and kill everything. I mean whatever you want to do but to maximize the amount of runs you get in the minimum amount of time I would say run past as much as you possibly can now these turrets up here I would recommend just you know don't even bother with them just run by them as quickly as you can now if they put you down you will have problems you'll probably have to respawn this door right here is a pain in the butt it will open but it won't let you through immediately so that can cause you some issues now make sure that if you need to you restock your ammo right here because there's a couple of vending machines that you can hit up all right, now from here, like I said before, you can kill everything if you want. Uh, generally, this area is such a pain in the ass that uh, I would say if you can, try to get right the hell past these guys. But generally speaking, they're going to put you in fight for your life. So you might as well go ahead and start working on them. Now when you go through here, there's again another set of vending machines. So go ahead and restock your ammo. And make sure you have a electro damage weapon so that you can take down his shield quickly. You can also destroy his shield generators, but that takes more time. And quite honestly, you're going to waste enough time on the, the little jerks that are along the way to this area. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this gun actually does in action versus some enemies. And we'll talk about what I think about the gun. Now, first of all, it is very powerful. I will say that. Good for second wins, sort of. But I will uh, put in this little exception to that rule. Um, if you are at the end of the clip on this gun, then you're probably going to die because the reload speed, like I said earlier, about five to six seconds. That's a lot of time to be waiting for a gun to reload. Now, of course, you can do the reload cancel to speed that up a little bit, but at the same time, you're going to find some other guns that are probably a lot better options for this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please take a second to click that like button and hit subscribe for more legendary item reviews, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow with episode four. Take care.